This is a clip from the Chris Break Show podcast. I like that guy. I wish we had a setup to where Dale, Jay Gordon here, Nashville recording artist Dale J. Gordon, uh, if he would be able to hear. Yeah. That's our only flaw. Well, I'm sure we got a couple, but I wish I wish Dale could have heard that music we were just listening to. Yeah. Or the music that we oh, always boy. or the music that we always play when he talks too long. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Dale? Dale, yeah, what is up, man? Oh, boy. It's been a while since we talked well, to you. The, you know, the, the eagle has landed. The, I'm the lone sperm to pop through the egg. I landed a pad. This little, this frog you've been, had a little You've been pad. homeless. You've been homeless for the last, like, three months. We've had you on the phone every yeah, time. Three you've been and homeless. a half. The better half is better part of three and a half months, man. Sleeping on, under bridges, on rocks, waking up with half your <laughs> half your body numb. Uh, having <laughs> triggers. Right. Sleeping on rocks and crushing my nervous system yes and i finally i made it into a spot you know and it's like this angry monster bum has been hunting me down the whole time and as soon as i paid the money to get in that place and i turned the key to the lock and i closed the door i could just see him standing outside drenched in the rain his hair hanging down in front of his face he's like you son of a bitch you escaped this fate you know what i mean He's all out of breath and stuff. He's trying to chase me down. He wanted me to become one of the humbums hanging down at the park. He gets really bad tattoos and ends up in the ER every weekend for being drunk and falling down the bridge and shit. But that did not happen. I'm glad to hear oh, that, happy Dale. For me? Very, we're both very mm-hmm. happy for you. I was worried about you, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say it. I, although I did, <laughs> I did tell you. I said it makes me feel bad when I know that my friends are, you know, sleeping in the street, but. You seem to embrace it and take it on wholeheartedly. I mean, you you, you could have you could have avoided that. You Honestly, I mean? you could have avoided that situation if you wanted to. But I think you uh, deep down were exactly. looking forward. You know, to it. I saw this great documentary on sea turtles and how they hatch from the egg. You know, and like as soon as they're hatched, they all these crabs try and eat them. And so, like out of twenty five turtles, only like twelve make it to the shore. And then as soon as they get in the ocean, a bunch of things eat them. And like only one makes it all the way out there. And it makes fifteen years. And when he gets there, you know, he can proliferate. He can create. And so that's what I've done. I've freed myself up from, like, daily living survival mode, you know, because your imagination doesn't shut off necessarily, but it gets filed down to about nothing when you just got to worry about, is this a safe place? Uh, will so, food come from here and all that good stuff? Uh, I'm confused. And not so. to mention, I did the whole thing with damn near no Internet access, you know, no car and then no big money and all that stuff. Now, I exhausted did, my resources. Did you, did you really get a house? Because the way you're talking here, it sounds like you, you got a couple sticks and you put them up against a tree. And Wait, what? Well, no, 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 that, that, might have done, that might have been good enough for me years ago, but after a long, exhaustive you know, search, I did all that Craigslist and Zillow internet stuff. I asked around. I was sitting on the front porches with people, and they were like, yeah, man, you can move in this day. And they called back two <laughs> days later and say, oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> and what did I end up doing? I went to a coffee shop, and I ordered a coffee, and I realized I have to pee really bad. And so I went to go to the bathroom, and somebody was in there, and it was locked. And here I am doing the pee dance, and I look up mm-hmm. at this billboard with all these flyers for bands and stuff. And, like, on a little two-by-four-inch piece of paper, home printer, just black and white text, says one-bedroom apartment, $500, you know, uh, some utilities included. I call up. I go check out the place. The people are cool. I'm in there. Bada-bing, bada-boom. So I got all my stuff out of storage into the hole. And tomorrow, you know, it won't really be home until I wake up there, have me some coffee, have some breakfast, and get to putting things in order and be able to just, you know, live, you know. Yeah. Basically, all it means is I stand a chance. All it means is, is the foundation is laid. I can only go up from here. You know what I mean? I do, and I respect you, man. I'm glad you did that. But I'll be honest with you: if I if I were on my front porch and some some guy who I did not know as Dale J. Gordon, but it's just some guy as I know as I knew as a homeless guy who wandered off the street and was somehow on my porch drinking beer <laughs> and was talking about moving in, you know, I'd probably be a little you know weary of uh, of inviting him in, you know. But I know it's you. you think that I know mind, you. you think my mind has been so warped by this 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 up and down adventure that possibly I'm hallucinating the whole thing. <laughs> Cause I got to tell you, it got to that point. I mean, it could just be as simple as popping a, popping a multivitamin, you know, and that'll just get taken care of. But I mean, there were some moments where I wavered, you know, I wavered a little bit. <laughs> and so what does it mean now? Now I've got a box, you know, with a ceiling. I don't have to worry about it raining at like four o'clock in the morning. And, uh, you know, 
sleeping you're, on a wait, you're in a like box outdoor, <laughs> outdoor like uh, patio furniture uh, curled up in the ball, and then at four in the morning, the sprinkler system goes off and jarls me, and I get knocked over and cut my hand. You know, that's all it means. It means those things. And so from here, I look forward to focusing on what I was working on before the house fire in March and all that good stuff, which was writing and recording an album's worth of music and other psychotic ventures. So Dale, Dale J. Gordon, have you moved all your stuff out of the storage unit? Absolutely. Oh, how does that feel to just spread out? Feels real good. Now, when did you, like, when was the first, how long did it take for you just to get naked and just walk around your own place? Because that's one of my favorite things to do when I get a brand new place is just to, oh, you know, just I did that the naked first, and just first shower around. I had. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, man, it felt pretty good. I even thought if the new neighbors see me, it's like, let them have that. (laughs) that. This is who you're dealing with. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. You know what I missed the most, though, that my whole process was being completely divorced away from my record collection. Not having my record collection. I had a handheld recorder, and it would get to the point that someone played a song at at work or something, like Sam Cooke, and I wondered that I I could record it on that. Uh-huh. And then when I went back to my my little spot to sleep, you know, I could listen to it, you know, as if I was in war or something. You sound like, like a prisoner. Songs from back home. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was. You sound like back in the day when you're waiting for your favorite just song to come on the, the radio. Doesn't have walls, just because record. the prison doesn't have walls doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And just because I don't have a bed yet doesn't mean I have a home. <laughs> Thanks for having me during this whole adventure. I'm going to keep sleeping on the floor one step at a time. It's been real. On to the next Next one. I'm done with this Monster Bum series. It's been a pleasure. I hope anyone in, in you know ten days who listens to it, or in, in twenty years, and stuff gets stuck to the internet like bubble gum on the bottom of my boot. I hope they pick something from it. A laugh and something else. Be well, my friends. And uh, now you're talking to House Dale, not Monster Bum anymore. Uh, All right. Good night, sweet friends. Dale J. Gordon. Go to ReverbNation.com slash Dale J. Gordon, or he's on the Facebook. Oh, man. I'm so glad. I'm happy for that man. He's got himself a home. And coming up next here, I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> was that you well, or Well, the me? Lotus Cast is calling again. I answer it. Well, I tried to. I, you know, I, who knows? I'm about to say the Lotus Cast is coming up next. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're calling us to say, hey, you got a late start. Why don't you keep going? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the left. Oh. I'm gonna turn that off. That's the most fucking obnoxious thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, that's the Lotus Cast. Now they're they're talking to us. Hello, hello, Lotus Cast. How you doing? Hey, you're eating up the last thirty seconds of our show, guy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. When would you like us to call? <laughs> no. Oh, During the first 10 minutes that wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> That's the end. Lotus Cast <laughs> is now coming on next. <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah, the world famous Lotus Cast is coming on next. This is our first broadcast. Ooh. Got off to a rocky start, but I'm glad we got it, got it worked out. We're going to play our, in, our exit music. Yeah, we're going to exit gracefully now. Thank you for calling in. No, well, thank you for leading uh, us into our show. We appreciate it. Uh, now we want to thank Darren Snyder at Indian Tune. J- John, hang up on these guys. Don't do that. <laughs> wow, that's rude. Darren Snyder at Indian on, Tune. Man. Rich Barker from the Punk Rock Night. I'm going to have to shut that off on general principle. Okay, turn it back on. All right. I've, I've lost my train of thought. Darren Indian Tune. I need control over this board. <laughs> I, I really need control over that. All right. Thank you.
Okay. See you guys. From the Chris Break Show Podcast.